Also, you'll notice the ATS-4 rinse the syringe. Now it's going over to the vial. There's a septum punch, which punches the septum on the vial, goes down into the vial and draws up the sample. And again, this is our first vial, which is the reference, the standard, sorry. And now it's going to be applying that track, as you can see. So there was only one track from that vial, so now it goes back over and rinses the syringe. And once the syringe is rinsed, it will move to the second vial, which is our reference. Again, it applies a small waste spot before moving on to the plate. The ATS-4 actually applies the largest volume from a particular vial first. So now what it's doing is it's applying the 6 microliter track that we programmed. Once that's finished, it will move to the 4 microliter track and then down to the 2 microliter track. So three tracks from this vial and then the next vial will also be three tracks, again 2, 4, 6 microliters. Now, after that vial, again, it moves back, rinses the syringe, and then it will go and pull up the, the uh, sample from the third vial, which is our actual sample vial. As before, it starts with the 6 microliter band first and 
works its way down to the four and then the two. If for some reason you are applying more volume than the syringe can hold at one time, this is a 25 microliter syringe. We have other options for the syringes as well, but the 25 is the default. If you are applying more than 25 microliters over a series of bands, the instrument will automatically go up and draw up more sample as needed. And again, once it's finished, it goes and everything moves back to the front. And the syringe goes for one final rinse before ending. And now the application is finished. We can go and remove the plate. And as you can see, there's a nice solid sharp bands going all the way across here. So our plate looks good. And so now it's time to move on to the next step, which will be development.